Hi, I'm here to do your collective reading for Twin Flames High Level Soulmates. We're going, oh, what is this? The energy is gaining momentum. <laughs> I didn't even realize that card was there. We're going to start with the uh, Divine Masculine Energy towards the Feminine. And we're going to see the Divine Feminine towards the Masculine. I'm going to do it in one spread. And this is for this week. It is timeless, but whenever you see this, it is for the week that you are currently in. And let's take a look. What is going on with Divine Masculine Energy towards the Feminine for the Collective Spirit? Thank you. What is going on with Divine Masculine Energy towards the Collective? Thank you, Spirit. What is going on with Divine Masculine Energy? I'm going to be doing a karmic reading as well, too, probably later on this evening. Because uh, I do have bookings today. Let's see what's going on with Divine Masculine Energy right now. His overall energy is death, okay? So there is definitely an ending that is happening here for Divine Masculine Energy. Where is Divine Feminine Energy in relation to the masculine, please? Where is Divine Feminine Energy towards the masculine? She's not fighting this anymore. So whatever is happening is she's not fighting certain um, energies when it comes to their connection. Let's see where the Divine Masculine Energy is in regards to, uh, yeah, thank you, Spirit, for the cut. We're going to take a look at the overall energies for Spirit is guiding me. On the bottom of the deck, we have Eight of Wands. This is where Spirit is guiding both twins right now. It is the Eight of Wands, quick movement and communication. Some of you may be getting communication, and connecting the two together is where things have been blocked, okay? Where's Divine Masculine Energy towards the Feminine in regards to communication and where he's been blocked of discovering this connection? He has a fear of change. Um, for a reunion and what this reunion is going to bring, okay? This is where he's been blocked, but he's moving through that very quickly. Spirit is pushing in the higher realms, the Eight of Wands, right? To push him through his fears for a reunion um, to come forward in that, okay? Um, just make sure you guys can see that properly. And so let's take a look at where is Divine Feminine Energies in regards to moving forward and discovering more within herself. Uh, she may have to end old family patterns, old belief systems of what relationships are. Could be some of you are waiting for him to end a karmic or you have a karmic situation that you know that you need to end as well. And to get very honest with your own family patterns. So this is all very interesting as well. So you're both blocked um, in regards to fears of change. Okay. The masculine is willing to put an end to certain things right now. And divine feminine is really sitting at a place of not fighting. Um... Let's see what else, Spirit, what else is going on for the twins here. The masculine in the mind is that heart space, actions, and outcome. Yeah, so he's looking at, towards the Divine Feminine, he's looking at um, where he's been rejected here, okay, and... Um, what he's rejected so he needs to put an end of what he's rejecting in his life he's looking at the illusions in his life what the illusions that his heart has created um in regards to um not going towards change um he has a hard time with change um he likes stability there may have been a lot of change in his life i'm going to pull a wounded warrior deck here card for him because his heart space is very confused right now this week, it's very confused. Let's see what his confusion is about. He's looking at options um, because his action is to action fate, to action God, to action where his um, destiny is calling him. And his outcome is to return to the past, okay? He's going round and round, though. He, he's unable to leave something. So let's see what's going on with him in regards to his confusion in his heart. What is the pattern, the emotional pattern that is coming up? Greed. So there may be something financial here about his money um, that's keeping him stuck. And I'm feeling that I'm going to do a karmic reading. I've been feeling that, that there's something in regards to money and with the karmic energies and um, <laughs> delaying a lot of uh, paying out certain aspects. I was getting this like stocks and bonds, dividends, um, realizing that they're going to lose a lot of money of investments. And it's actually the illusion of loss and because greed is one of the seven deadly sins is where this masculine is sitting in his heart kind of wants his cake and wants it all but spirit is really guiding him through this and how to transmute this because he is in the in the energy of transformation let's see divine feminine energy she wants to stop fighting she's ending her own family patterns and she's getting very honest with herself in her mind she's looking at what she's been hanging on to she's trying to get aligned here in her mind uh, in her heart space, she's ending massive cycles here, okay? In her action, Divine Feminine is at 
she's blocked within herself. So she may have closed herself off um, right now. She's still working through some of her own emotional um, fears. And in the outcome, it's, uh, there's instability in her physical world. So Divine Feminine Energy is uh, somewhat a little closed off right here. I'm seeing where they're marrying right now is Masculine's going through massive transformation, working through his own money issues, greed issues, um, how things are grounded in the, in the physical world, what's an illusion, what's real. Um, and Feminine Energies are really closed off because they're ending some really tough emotional cycles of manipulation in their own life and um, where things have been really unstable. So this is why there's been a block here that spirit is guiding both twins to quickly move through these patterns. For feminine energy, it's really the um, family patterns, karmic uh, marriage or stability, false stability. Maybe you are you know you have a marriage that you have to leave. Um, knowing that you have to be very honest about this can be very difficult. And for divine masculine energies, it's about their fear of change of um, what this reunion is going to be, but it could also be about they have a drinking problem is what I'm getting with this Three of Cups. Over celebratory, living the lush lifestyle is what I'm getting. Um, doing drugs, addiction to sex, all of that has to end. And they're afraid of ending that playboy energy is what I'm getting. Let's see what else is going on for Masculine with this rejection in his mind towards Divine Feminine because he's going through massive rebirth right now. Yeah, he's ending this Nine of Cups as overindulgent energy. So he is rejecting the material world and that type of um, illusion. So that's coming to an end. And the feminine is in that Four of Pentacles where she's closed off because she's trying to come into her own alignment. Yep, yeah, of creating her own abundance. That's her grounded energy. She's trying to get her heart and mind aligned. So she's not fighting anymore. She's accepting that she needs to get more aligned within herself. And she's accepting that um, she needs to become in this single potent energy. Um, and so they're mirroring each other here because she's uh, closed off to certain things and he's rejecting other things in the physical world. This greed for the masculine in his heart, what is that about? Yeah, things aren't manifest. He was manipulated by an illusion. And we're going to do a third party read later. So again, stay tuned for that. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't so you don't miss out. Um, yeah, so this is uh, just manipulation of dreams and illusions and the greed that he wanted in his life. And he's and, and he may have thought that whatever he decided to invest in in his life is not working out. And he realized that it is from a pattern of greed. How is he dealing with this pattern of greed right now, spirit? He's slowly moving away. So he has put a halt to it. We have the Knight of Swords in reverse and the Knight of Pentacles. And this is more grounded energy. This is stable energy. This is not missing the mark on anything. And really moving carefully through his world as this transformation is moving through because of the money and the greed issues. He may have had a partner that was taking money from him. There may have been somebody just a gold digger for some is what I'm getting. And marking it as like love and it was nothing but and um, realizing that he has to kind of put an end to this situation now. Divine Feminine is not fighting ending cycles in her life as well, okay? So she's really coming into a place of ending certain cycles. Um, she's pulled away, so she is single. She knows that she has to be single, so knowing that if she has to end a marriage or another a karmic situation herself or family patterns herself, which is what she's doing, getting very honest with those family patterns, which can be hard. You kind of have to look at where your family resides and you have to be very honest with what is happening in the energies. That's difficult. And um, pulling herself back um, from those energies to end the cycle to realize that, you know, everyone has to do their own healing. You can only heal your lineage based on how much you've healed within yourself of forgiveness within yourself towards others in your family. And then you just let it go. There's nothing else for you to do. Because um, it's not trying to counsel your family members into enlightenment. That's not a thing, right? Everyone has to come to that and come to God in their own time and own way. So she's pulled back completely and gone within to end these cycles. And this is why the masculine is feeling this and, know, and is recognizing the manipulation. Because when the feminine goes within herself and does that work to end those cycles within herself, the masculine will feel the feminine within themselves and realize where they have been manipulated into illusion. So that's really beautiful. There's some really amazing mirroring that's going on here. Um, yeah, so let's take a look at what's going on with the wheel here for the masculine. They 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 want their fate. They want their fated path. They're heartbroken about it. They want to work on it. Wow. 
and they're going to action this. They're going to action coming towards divine feminine. That's why spirit is bringing down that eight of wands as the overall energy. They've been heartbroken about this connection here. Okay. They have been completely heartbroken about their faded path, about what they want with divine feminine and with God. They know they have to focus on this and work on this and they're willing to come very um, strongly. Um, could be um, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo energy, fire energy, very passionate, moving. It doesn't have to be your person, but that's what I'm picking up. I'm seeing Scorpio here. I guess I'll call it some of the signs. I'm seeing Scorpio here. I'm seeing Capricorn here. I'm seeing Libra. Am I seeing Libra here? I thought I saw Libra somewhere. Yeah, Libra is here, not as much, but there is Libra. There's a lot of uh, water signs here, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. And um, yeah, and Leo and Aries and Sagittarius. So there's definitely a, um, uh, there's also Taurus as well, okay? So there's a lot of signs here. So this is why I don't call out signs because it, it doesn't really make a difference. But yeah, they're heartbroken, okay? This masculine is very heartbroken and wants to action his path. Feminine is kind of blocked right now. So let's see how she's mirroring right now because she's blocked right now. Um, she's working through some emotional, yeah, justice within herself and holding strength. She's pulled back right now to work through her emotional issues as she's um, working through massive amounts of karma. Um, as she in her own life ending cycles that aren't good for her family patterns of relationship friendships whatever it is to gain this justice and she's doing it making proper higher end decisions right now in order to build this strength in order to like really come forward in her life in regards to um being strong in those decisions to come forward in her life to create something new in her life so she's blocked off right now to the masculine because um there's a lot of upset that's going on could be for feminine and where she's dealing with this week um and realizing that she has to just keep working on herself wow look at this she's definitely feeling the masculine energy okay she feels her masculine with her <sighs> there's a pair here king of cups and queen of cups and she's really doing her best to kind of leverage herself up by making the proper decisions in her life this week so She's feeling him and it's giving her the oomph to kind of move forward to bring karmic justice into her life. The masculine wants to return, but he's going round and round about something is what I'm seeing. This is with karmic energy. Queen of Swords in reverse. He's dealing with karmic energy that it's just a round and round basis, but he's putting an end to that. Yep, Ten of Swords, as I said that, with the Three of Wands. He's not planning a future with this karmic energy. Whatever it is, could be addiction. He's definitely moving forward in his life, and he's not dealing with it. He's not waiting around for it, because it's just a cyclic pattern. It's just like round and round and round and round, over and over again. And the feminine is feeling in her life as the outcome is like this instability that's happening right now. Clarify this, Spirit. Yeah, she feels the masculine here. Energy very unstable and ungrounded right now. King of Pentacles in reverse. Um, and she's feeling that within her life. That's why she's trying to gain her own. Um, yeah, she's feeling this instability with this karmic energy could be a marriage, right? Something traditional that he's in that is creating a lot of instability. And uh, she's feeling this because she's feeling him and his, his heart is with her because the King of Cups is in the action period here. Um, so it's not like she's not feeling him, but she's blocked to it because she knows there's still karmic energies here. She's like, no. I just keep hearing, let it go, get rid of it, because I ain't dealing with it. Uh, that's what she's saying. And um, what are these lessons and the instability in her own life Divine Feminine is looking at? She knows that she's holding this place of the Empress. So she is not doing anything um, but being in her Divine Empress energy. And that's transmuting things um, of this in and out energy she's not taking in and out energy she's making that very clear in the energies towards masculine and this is why there's a betrayal ten of swords here with the masculine betraying he's feeling the feminine in this that he can't plan a future with this and how is he going to move forward with that with the karmic energy it's putting him at a crossroads to really speak the truth because nothing's ever going to get started we have the fool in reverse he feels a little foolish because he realizes the truth of the situation completely Okay, he realizes the truth of the situation, that he has to communicate the truth, and it's going to put a crossroads at, at everything, but it's also being able to follow faith at the same time. So, um, yeah, yeah, that's where the energies are at right now. Let's take a look and see what is going on with uh, the masculine towards the feminine right now. Let's see, what is going to use uh, Made for Love's deck? 
is what I'm getting pulled to. Actually, let's use this one first. Where is that deck? I'm saying it. I want to use this one. And, yep, yeah, there it is. We're going to use these and these. And we're going to use these. All right. Let's see what's going on with Divine Masculine, specifically towards the feminine right now. As I saw the yang energy just now, but let's see what is going on with the masculine energy towards the feminine. What is going on with masculine energy towards the feminine, please, for this week for the collective Holy spirit? What is going on with masculine energy towards the feminine? Thank you. Yeah. What's going on with masculine energy towards the feminine? For the collective please if you guys are liking this reading don't forget to like and subscribe if you want a reading my email is down below i'm only open for june for readings so get on that because i am already booking up let's take a look we have orphaned okay so this mask is dealing with orphaned energy what's faded for him a change in the wind is coming okay that's the action and the outcome here is out to sea so what I'm seeing here is like he's really being forced in his mind to look at his abandonment issues and to feel what's faded in his heart, right? So that's why we were saying that um, that greed and all of that is that he has to persevere and move through that because his orphaned energy, the abandonment energy of the masculine energy, when they get orphaned, they're, they usually become high achievers and so that they can get attention from the outside world. And when they get attention from the outside world, um, it creates more abandonment issues because they get their worth from pleasing others and from their money or from how others see them and how um, they get some type of, um, I, don't, I guess appreciation is not the word that I'm looking for, recognition in a sense. And that's what they're, they're having to work through right now because it's a form of greed and selfishness because I feel that God's calling them into, into mission work, right? To become humble to that. So let's see what else is the masculine towards the feminine energy right now. There is a change that's happening and that's what they're actioning. That's their transformation, right? That's their transformation. So there's a massive change that's happening. Um, that's why they're pulled back. I feel that some of them have pulled back from karmic energies. Again, I'm going to do a reading about that later on this evening, so stay tuned for that. But um, yeah, there's definitely something happening here. So this masculine is going through massive transformation. What is going on with the masculine energy towards the feminine right now? Masculine energy towards the feminine. I've been guided to shuffle a little differently for this reading, and I don't know why, but it just is rebirth. Exactly. We have rebirth. There are drastic changes in my life right now. They're running away. They're running away from this change. They have in the past, but they're bringing justice. So they are um, doing something about it. Let's pull another line here. Breaking free. Third party knows about you. The Empress. He ran away from the Empress. So that's changing. And the karmic justice is they're spying on you. So wow. <laughs> this is really beautiful. They're orphaned. They abandoned themselves. When they abandon themselves, what happens is that they have to break through this abandonment issue. They're going through a massive rebirth right now, which is a 10 and a 4-4, four, four, okay? So a new beginning and a new stable opportunity is coming for them. This is faded with their Divine Feminine. So whatever is faded is um, bringing up a lot of drastic changes in their life. It's, tr it's turbulent right now. And the third party knows. Well, of course they do because they're snoops, so... <laughs> And they're really in low vibration, so <laughs> um, nothing against that. You need you need darker energies to catalyze your masculine, or um, you know they don't change, right? Um, they're not going to change. They see the empress as some goddess, you know. They they get so like, oh my god, how am I going to deal with that? So they go for a karmic energy that's so like nothing like the feminine they may think like she's like the feminine but nothing like the feminine and it's quite interesting to see as the feminine grows the regrets that start to happen change in the wind and um we're gonna look at feminine energy towards masculine as well because i mean they need to shift as well they're mirroring exactly right so they ran away this is changing now from the empress they ran away from this divine feminine but that's changing now so they definitely are getting guided to come towards divine feminine energy. They're out to sea right now, okay? The outcome is that they have to learn this independence on their own. They need to learn um, this karmic justice. They're spying on you hardcore. They're looking at everything on your social media. All right. Hi.
How's it up? What's up, T? <laughs> Shout out to my masculine. <laughs> Just in case, you never know. Um, what up? What going on? So yeah, discovering, you know, um, this karmic justice. There has to be a justice that's coming forward. Um, I'm really full pulled to the oracles right now. We'll see what the tarot brings, but this masculine is going through massive transformation. So let's take a look here. I'm going to pull for each one as well. I'm going to pull top row. Yeah, thank you, Spirit. And then the other deck. Let's take a look. This one's masculine energies. Thank you, Spirit. Rebirth is getting... They're waiting. So this is why they're not coming forward because they're going through orphaned energies, their abandonment issues, and that's why they're waiting. They want to gift the Divine Feminine something. They're going through drastic changes right now, but they know the Divine Feminine was a gift from the gods. Um, they ran away from this holy sacred marriage. They're changing because they ran away from the sacred marriage. It doesn't matter what who their marriage in the 3D. Well, God puts together, let no man put us under. You are in union and married for eternity in the ethers. It doesn't matter. <laughs> you can't change that. So there's karmic justice that's coming in regards to a courtship that may have happened. Spirit wants me to keep going. So message of concern about breaking free. They may have to do some uncomfortable messaging, okay, towards the divine feminine of what's going through in their life right now. Um, they want to gift you something, okay? They know the third party knows about you, but there's a massive decision. God's coming in too. It could be also court, um, but there's massive decisions that are happening to break free, okay, of this karmic energy. And the third party knows. So this marriage with the empress that they ran away from, they're thinking about this. They're like, wow, I was married to you the whole friggin' time. Couldn't stop thinking about you. Couldn't stop anything. And now so they're creeping on you because they want to bring a courtship to you. They're, they're putting an end to a courtship. They're making a decision about a courtship. Um, but it's also because they want to court you. And um, they're seeking for more. So they're going through massive transformation here. Um, let's see what else. So they're out to see is that they have to be alone for a little bit as they bring this karmic justice down. Um, that's why they may not be in communication. But Spirit is saying that they're really... Um, working on communicating okay they're really working on this communication so let's take a look here what is going on with divine masculine towards the oh, we got one fly out so i was going to say they're going to call right we're going to keep it there is a call that's coming here all right so some of you are ready to get ready for some communication let me know let's take a look thank you spirit they're waiting they're rebirthing to end the separation from the divine feminine, okay? They want to gift you something. There's dra they want to talk to you about this gift. They know that you are a gift. They want to talk to you. There's a lot of changes happening in their life. They ran away from this marriage. They put an end to it. You may have put an end to it, saying there's no second chances, but it could be for them that they're also putting an end. They re they're running away from a marriage, is what Spirit is saying for some of them. Not just the sacred marriage of the union with the divine feminine, but they ran away. They're running away from their current commitments, and they're <laughs> they don't want it. And they're not going to give it a second chance either. That's the change in the wind that they're actioning right now. They're taking a decision about a union right here, a decision for a union to uh, make a decision about a courtship. Uh, this is why they're not, they had to go, they had to leave the divine feminine. They had to go out to see, they had to leave the situation before they can come into this kind of union. They did run from it. They are running from another relationship. Um, but they're putting an end to it. They may have said to you, to some of you, like, yeah, I'm. there's no second chance here. I'm just going on with my life. But they're realizing now that that's changing. They don't want that. They're making a decision to come towards a courtship here and a union with Divine Feminine. They're looking at your pictures. They're breaking free. So they have some uncomfortable, we're going to clarify this. They're, they have some uncomfortable messages to give the karmic energies if they haven't done so already. And... Um, they're making a decision here to move on. Look at this girl talk, getting together with friends. So they're definitely moving on from the third party energy. They're pissed. Who this 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 uh, karmic energy is like devil worshiper. I'm sorry, I can't with this energy. It is like Lilith, dark ass shit of what they work in. They do black magic. I'm just saying they think they're all spiritual. I don't care if the third party's watching this. You ain't, you ain't got nothing on me, bitch. Sorry about it. Like, I can't even. I can't even with the energy that I'm feeling right now. Like, you think? You think? You drink an ayahuasca and thinking that you know what you're freaking doing? Sorry, guys. I'm just sending that out. No, you don't have no idea. 
because God does not give that type of insight and vision until you have done some hard ass work in your life. So, and you have to become symbi symbiosis with the earth that you know how to let go and you know how to work with the earth on a very profound basis. So, um, I'm just feeling some really dark energies coming through guys and I don't like it. I don't like it. And I think this is coming through, not just with my connection, but it's happening with you guys too. There are some really dark energies. That's why you're watching my channel because these karmics are dealing, they don't know what they're dealing with. They have no idea what they're working with. No idea. Look at this. As I'm saying that the golden mirror, they're complete narcissist, self-absorbed narcissist, one side of relationship love. They're trying to get your person back by love bombing. Like bitch, please. You have no idea what freedom is and these these karmics i feel bad for them because they're never going to know themselves if they continue on this path they this masculine continuously thinks about this feminine and about the narcissistic energy that he got involved in okay there's a lot of spying on you divine feminine and putting it in because he knows that this is his paradise yeah read it and weep truth hurts don't it truth hurts and um and i felt that as soon as i was saying that i could feel that karmic energy coming through it's so like i don't care like i just don't care when and when you have fire like that you guys like you know you know i'm sorry that um what is made for you and what you deserve like you didn't go through that hard ass shit in your life to be um dealing with what with this bitch please i'm sorry i'm sorry guys you feel the fire come talk to me i would love I would love for my person's karmic. I call you out because I know she fucking watches me. I call you out. Message me. Message me instead of stalking me like a little hoe bag. I can't even. Look at this. Masculine is rising up. Overall wants to call. He's gone through the ringer, you guys. But you know what? They had to go through the ringer. They had to know what the feminine really was. They had to know. So these karmics don't like to take responsibility for anything let's clarify here this uh message of concern breakthrough i'm sorry guys i didn't mean to go on a rampage like i don't even know where that came from but i just had to say it and i feel like that's the kind of attitude that we have to have you can forgive their soul you know but you don't forgive where they think they're at like you their human self i don't forgive human self that's all ego because you don't really need the mind the mind gets in the way your intuition and your connection to source is the a true intelligence in this world and so if they're going to be stuck in like uh, grieving and uh, blah 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 emotional drama i ain't down with that shit that's like low consciousness you we work divine feminines to heal that emotional attachment so that we can allow spirit to really work through us and our intuition that's who i work with and that's what that's what's needed here so if you're watching this you're divine feminine that's you know that you're healing that you know and these karmics like i'm sorry i ain't gonna support them i ain't gonna support them this is like eons of thousands and thousands of years divine feminine has been doing this work bitch rise deal with your shit like i can't anymore so there's like this masculine is looking at breaking free and he has a message of concern right now with the past he's looking at your photos and he's concerned that maybe you won't accept it but you know divine feminines will he's afraid of this change but he wants to persevere it and come out of this four of cups so he's definitely listening to his intuition he's persevering forward um he's afraid of this change and what's going to happen i think he's afraid of what the feminine's going to respond but you know divine feminines like we're not karmic energy we're real divine feminines we be we know our boundaries so there's a back and forth here and that's probably why communication hasn't come in yet but um because he's still having some codependent uh attachment issues here with this karmic energy i can't wait to see the karmic reading oh my god i'm doing it right after this seriously i'm gonna go have some lunch and then yeah this is about moving through this codependent and his addictions um he's definitely moving through it okay um this third party bitch let's take a look i'm sorry guys i'm gonna have to make this an 18 rating like where did this come from um moving on i'm making a decision third party knows about you yeah i'm glad you freaking know about us yeah he's being very clear <laughs> you can't take away a holy sanctioned matrimony i'm sorry bye know your place it's a complete halted everything there's a decision that everything is halted this masculine is moving on to want to talk and give something to divine feminine this is faded what does he want to uh, give to divine feminine energies i have like no remorse for people who attach i'm sorry like how dare you think that you know freedom and you know spirituality when you attach that way and you make people's life a living hell and then you do black magic on them please 
throw the hell up fighting with the dark, right? He wants to talk about how he's been fighting this darkness. He's been fighting the shadow with this bitch ass C U N T, seriously. She's narcissistic. And he's running away from a marriage and putting an end to things because he can't deal anymore. Look at this. The Hierophant, the marriage. He's learned his lessons. He's so regretful. This masculine is so sorry. It's going to be a very powerful reunion coming for you guys. Um, out of this. Yeah, he's coming out of his hermit mode. Coming out of being single. He's been doing a lot of healing. Um, yeah, definitely. Definitely. Um, dealing with the gold digger energy here. Okay, Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Knowing that he couldn't ground with this feminine because she's... Uh, golden mirror here self-absorbed narcissistic one side to clarify that that he's been dealing with yeah it wasn't his destiny and it's not healing it can't heal because she's psychotically insane it's not going to heal because she's psychotically insane so <laughs> let's just move he's leaving and making decisions to quickly swiftly end courtships marriages for union putting an end watching you and knowing that he didn't take a risk here Nothing ever got started, but he's making a decision to do so. So he's not contemplating this anymore. Whoops. Clarify this uh, fool in reverse. He feels a bit foolish. He's going to reveal that, that he missed an opportunity because of his foolishness. That's okay. It's a maturing process. We still love you. That's okay. We know what growth looks like, you know, but it's also divine feminines. You have to also know, like, you don't take back the old energy. Just because you take back your masculine, you got to set yourself clear and be like, you know, you know what's going to happen. You know, if something like this happens and you want to repeat a pattern, that means that there's a disconnect in the connection. And that means the feminine will act to cut that out because that's what feminines do. The earth creates homeostasis uh, energy and a fine balance to keep the temperature on the earth within a certain parameter, right? You have to do that in order to maintain life. And that's what feminine energies do. So if that means like we have to maintain life and that, this masculine when he comes back and you set boundaries and he's in he's like off for the next like my masculine's got things with physical aesthetics it's no wonder i'm a chunky girl <laughs> i just freaking love it i love it. it's like absolutely perfect to keep you in alignment it's like if you go for another model ass fake ass bitch like seriously like i'm like so over it like don't think you know that this is and that's that's what feminine energy does it keeps the masculine in place right it unfortunately it has to but in a place of alignment to god not from an attached place of what karmic energy does trying to control the masculine feminines give their masculine complete freedom yeah have all the freedom you want but just know there's consequences for your actions when you try to mess with a divine feminine you know wow all right guys i'm gonna pause this and clear this up and let's take a look at what the feminine has towards the masculine and um that will be the reading so just hang on i'm just gonna pause that all right, let's see where the feminine is at. Maybe my energy will change. That's when I, that's when I feel, guys, I'm an empath and um, all of it. I feel it so strongly. It's like, ugh, so tired with the, with the drama and the energies. It's like I'm so over it. Like, let's move on, please. Oh, please, let's move on. All right, what's going on with the divine feminine towards the masculine? Let's see what's going on with divine feminine towards the masculine. What is going on with the divine feminine right now towards the masculine serendipity wanted to come up what's going on with the divine feminine i'm sorry guys like i i when i get like that it just comes out like i have to just say it and i can feel shifts like these readings are as much for me as it is for you guys and for you guys as it is for me vice versa we're a collective we're working together on this right so let's take a look divine feminine you know there's unfinished business here yeah you know like it's never gonna go away right it's like damn how is this not going away being flexible in your calling all right, your actions right now is your loyal heart to your path with your masculine, with your with your counterpart. You know, it, it took me a while, guys. You know, I was like, oh, I can't. Why can't I move on from this dude? Seriously, it's driving me insane because I've been able to cut everybody out if I didn't need them, you know, including family um, breathing. So when you hit a point here, this person has hit you because it's your soul, right? Um, deeper than anybody, anybody. And you know that there's unfinished business. It comes to a point where you just accept it and you're like, all right, spirit, I get it. <laughs> hands down, hands up, surrender. I get it. Like, I know that the next step when you become whole is mission work and to do this together. And uh, to be able to ground such a powerful connection means that you've both gone through some massive amounts of healing and work 
um, in order to get here. And I just want to say, like, you're, you're watching this. If masculines are watching this, right? Um, if masculines are watching this, they may still have an empathy for the karmic energies, but Divine Feminine, you also know the, the deceptive energies on a fine-tuned basis, right? That's why you can call it. That's why you're a Divine Feminine, because you've gained those spiritual gifts. And... Um, yeah, you know that karmic energies play so sweet to masculine and they're two-faced and they turn around and you can feel the energy that they do towards you. And then they come around and say to the masculines, I didn't do anything. This person, eh. they have to play victim, right? It's the martyr victim role with, with, with that. So there's a lot of synchronicities that are going to be coming up, Divine Feminine. Let's see Divine Feminine towards the masculine. Thank you. The third party's involved. That's the unfinished business and you feel it. Divine Feminine, flexible. About this running away, you know why he this masculine ran away. You have a heart. Wow, look at this. The same cards. You can feel the drastic changes in your life. So the loyal heart that you hold, divine feminine, you feel it with this masculine. You know that this change is happening in his life. Breaking, guys. I shuffled this deck. All right, breaking free. You're feeling it. Let's clarify. You're saying yes with this um, this third party situation. Yes, it's unfinished. Clear it up. I'm going to pull one more on top. Spirit is telling me the third party knows about you. Oh, my God. Yes, it is validation, guys. This is huge. The karmic reading today is going to be hype. So make sure you like and subscribe, okay? Because they're they're mad as hell. I can feel it. Too bad. Go away. <laughs> Get in your own freaking lane. Go find your own calling. This is not your this is not your calling. This is not your path. Thanks, Spirit. There's a parrot. Okay, there's a parrot talking, um, running away. All right, yeah, they know that this masculine ran away from this beautiful, you're my shining star, destiny. But they're being flexible, right? Divine Feminine is being flexible. They know that there's changes happening in the karmic wheel right now, okay? They are totally aware that the masculine's breaking free to be with them. Look at the two lions, Simba and Nala is what I'm getting. The Lion King, Akuna Matata. Um, <laughs> four, four, and two, two. Look at this foundation that's happening here, guys. With the Breathe card is in 29, which is an 11. So we have foundation happening here with divine feminine energy. So this feminine towards your masculine, baby, I know. I know you ran away. I know it was scary. I was just as scared, right? Because twins mirror exactly. Feminines try to control it by being the whole, like, oh, I'll hold space. I'll do all of that. But that's not how twins work. We have to be thrown into our own cycles of healing. That's why separation happens. And um, that's why karmic energy is coming to, to, to kind of hijack. But the hijacking's over. I feel like this karmic energy is just not letting go, bitch, bye. Let's see. I think it's becoming really annoying for both twins. Like, they're so over it that there's going to be drama. But whatever, if there's drama. If the twins come together and they're able to heal, that drama will dissipate because it becomes more powerful and God forces there. And there's nothing that can happen. They'll get their karma tenfold. So just watch and wait. Just watch and wait. Let's see what's going on with the divine feminine towards the masculine. Third party is involved. Marriage. Okay, we have running away. Message of concern. Wow, same cards, guys. Okay, they want to come towards and talk to you. They know that this marriage um, is the unfinished business, but they still want to talk to you. Family. There's massive changes in the family right now. Divine Feminine, this is what you're feeling with your masculine, okay? You're really highly in tune and picking up. And there could be also changes in your family. And this could be also marriages for some Divine Feminines that are leaving a marriage as well and breaking free. Look at this. Same cards. You guys are mirroring exactly. That's when you know union's coming, guys. Both of you are going through the exact same thing, okay? Decisions, court cases. Leaving family patterns behind. Some feminines are leaving a third party situation, leaving a marriage behind. Third party knows about you. Yes, definitely. Because this masculine is maturing. Yeah, he's not a little child acting like a childish little karmic person, uh, partner, like their person is. I'm sorry about it. The people are going to say I'm so mean. No, that's called ruthless truth by the divine God. Okay, because God... God has lightning that burns down trees. There's destructive power. That's Kali spirit. Sorry. Feminine energy has to be able to ground that as well. So if you don't like it, that's just how it is. I'm sorry. I'm not into this whole like, oh, I'm so kind and loving. No, I'm only, I'm only that if the energy calls for that. Sorry. 
that's just how it is the wealthy man you're my shining star so um this feminine energy um knows that this masculine may um they may be wealthy an entrepreneur um or runs their own business or very high up in the world uh in politics or whatever else is what i'm seeing doctor or surgeon um some type of lawyer as well for some of you um construction owning their own construction company very big travels around the world that they took their money um and ran away and could not um completely move away from you okay divine feminine and you're being flexible because you know that they had to learn some stuff about money and greed and all of that as well the karmic wheel is ending here with false people aho and you're ending um things with your family and for the sudden wealth okay because you know that when you align these energies to the sudden wealth it's going to be tenfold all right that's going to be tenfold um so feminine is really much in the same place as divine masculine energy very much feeling that they have to end certain patterns in their own life as well and to level up a little bit um we have twin flames so we're going to take it just how the masculine had the love call that popped out we have the twin flames this is definitely a twin flame connection um yeah so this feminine energy is completely aware of this and is realizing how much more they are um um marrying their masculine and this is like photograph from the past looking at the past of maybe where relationships have been what this third party has been doing um transforming the butterfly okay um knowing that it's going to be a transform a, a very big transformation uh when this masculine does return so the feminines are are going to be very flexible they have a loyal heart they want to build family they know there's drastic changes there's an engagement ring here things are leveling up in their life with their family so they're staying loyal to their own family they're healing their their own forgiveness within themselves within their family they're breaking free from their old path their old life they're um watching and stalking the masculine as much as the masculine is spying on the feminine so just so you know guys there's a lot of spying going on here um feminine is saying yes i know that the third party knows and i know that you're maturing out of this look at this we also have be lighthearted and finding out things healing um things change sorry blah, blah, blah. things coming to light adapt change and heal so there's a lot of stuff that's healing right now um this masculine may have stabbed you in the back may have taken as uh because of the greed and because of the money right because they, they could build somewhere else i find that really funny when <laughs> i found it really funny i was like yeah good luck with that i know what that energy is like so um yeah it's it's really interesting because they're they know that they stabbed you in the back but they've been healing this with the uh with feeling the divine feminine on the inside they want to tell you that they've transformed and the feminine is going to be open and and flexible to this and will set boundaries accordingly and won't push and, and will give freedom that's how feminines work the karmic wheel of the far, false person is the chaser she's the this bitch needs to go seriously i need you please i need you she's not leaving this shit alone and uh sudden wealth i know you're my soulmate it's cupid's arrow so the twins know where they are in this connection together they both know that they're mirroring exactly they both feel each other on a really deep level um let's take a look and just clarify a little bit more because i'm feeling yeah we're gonna do the karmic reading in a bit i'm gonna go have some lunch and then i will definitely do the reading and then i'm going to maybe i'll do a channeled message if i have time later on today but i am booked up tomorrow for reading so i'll see what i can get out tomorrow i don't know if i'll be able to get anything out tomorrow but i will do my best guys um but let's see what is going on with the feminine energy this karmic wheel yeah this feminine is standing her ground it's like i did not get to the top of this hill very easily i had to fight and bleed and suffer and sacrifice myself to get here know your friggin lane okay to the karmic energy like know your friggin lane get out of my lane you're a siphoner you're an energy vampire you haven't done your work like <laughs> like seriously you haven't you haven't you've got you have a small it's like karmic energies have like a very minute amount of enlightenment compared to a divine feminine that's just how it is and that's just how it had to be in this life you know um what is this karmic energy here the false person the wheel the chaser okay chasing after your masculine like like they have no worth they're like a freaking dead doormat here you know because they're losing these karmics are losing and they don't like it they don't like the competition you know what they don't like 
Yeah, they don't like that. They don't understand why they like the karma. Yeah, look, they're walking away. Good. Bye, bitch. Walk the hell away. Okay. Um, that's. I think they're chasing because somebody is walking away. I don't think they're walking away. Clarify that, spirit. They're not walking away. Yeah, because of this decision. So someone's walking away because they've made a decision. And this karma keeps chasing this masculine energy. Okay. They want to end their regrets. They, they're trying to... They're coming across your mask like, I want to heal this. Come on, let's just heal this. They're trying to show patience and love, but this is how the karmics fool people. Look, I got family members like that, okay? They act so nice and so sweet, but there's always a hidden agenda. All of a sudden, the true colors show. It can take weeks and days. They can put up that front, and all of a sudden, it's like, how dare you? I was investing. I was doing all this stuff for you, and I was being nice, and they use their niceness and that fake ass personality and being nice and then they like use it to make you feel guilty because you think they were actually being nice narcissistic energy yeah i'm calling it out you're a narcissist okay um all y'all all y'all yeah they're dark as frig okay spirit is saying you guys who are watching this this is the the spirit is saying this is the cycle of what happens in this in this type of um dynamic Okay, your masculine has to get involved in the empath narcissist dynamic so that they can know where they're being manipulated in the darkness. Okay, and so feminine has to heal this as well. <clears throat> as I'm saying this, the feminine is healing this as well. You can forgive, okay, this relationship, but spirit is also saying move on. Um, you can forgive and move on, but it doesn't mean you have to be nice. Just because you forgive doesn't mean that you have to be nice to somebody. No, or kind. Well, I'm going to be kind to you because you are manipulating and hanging on because of your own selfish needs no i don't i don't need to be nice to you for that um forgive and move on yeah the conflict that this karmic has caused a lot of conflict in this in this situation so there's a moving on and you're not paying attention anymore divine feminine you know that you're leveling up you can feel this little heart with your masculine energy you know that it's healing your destiny is coming so there's definitely um yeah you've made a decision with your, to, to be in your twin flame journey and that solidification is coming through to close off the past here and um you're breaking free you're sitting there and you're breaking old patterns in your own life because you know what you're worth yeah you've awakened to this connection you're letting things go to hell fall down in the 3d world okay you don't care for this love this is a divine love you're welcoming it in it's coming in okay divine feminine so just stay strong because it is coming in and is about to move forward aho that is your reading for today, my loves. I'm going to be doing the karmic reading soon, so stay tuned for that. If you want a reading, make sure you um, like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Email me. I am booking up for June, so uh, I can get you in probably next week. I have a couple spots left next week, but the third and fourth week are still open. So if you want that, send me an email and we'll get you in. And I'm sending you so much love. Bye, guys.